Revelations chapter 2 vs 1. John is instructed to write unto the congregation of Ephesus commending their labor and patience. They are reminded of how they rejected the hose and the prescribed way of life for man. The message to Ephesus. John, so of Zebedee and Salome, write to the messengers of the congregation of Ephesus this is what he, the Anunnaki Elohim Malachi Zodok. Who is the head of the ranks of the Anunnaki Elohim? Who is holding the seven stars, the seven arch messengers? Gabriel, Uriel, Uziel, Raphael, Israel, and Zamarel, in his right hand, who walks in the middle of the seven candlesticks of gold, which represents the seven congregations that John, son of Zebedee, was told to warn says. The tree of life that existed in the enclosed garden of delight. Revelations chapter 2 vs 2. Surely, I, Malachi Zodok know about your works in the name of Yahweh and your tiredness and your patience. And surely, you can't bear those who are disagreeable and indeed you have tried those who say. Surely, they the ones you sent, are sent, and they are not sent. They are merely false prophets. So you found them liars. Revelations chapter 2 vs 3. You have certainly worked diligently for the sake of my name, Melchizedek, the leader of the deities and the supreme name of the Messiah Jesus. Those who follow Jesus' teachings are, in effect, following the order of Melchizedek by working in his name. Revelations chapter 2 vs 4. But I have against you, a complaint because you have the followers of Zoroaster, Chaldeans, and Persians, neglecting your first love, Al-Islam, the religion of Abraham. Revelations chapter 2 vs 5. So remember from where you fell, to institute the religion of Zoroastrian and repent, and do the first works. Return to the religion of the newsbearer those you sent Abraham, the Chaldean otherwise. I will surely come to you and remove your menorah from its place if you don't repent. Adonai erased his name from the book of life by symbolically removing this candlestick. Revelations chapter 2 vs 6. But you have this. Surely you hate the works of idol worshipping of the Nicolaitanes those who follow Nicolaus, a man of Antioch who mislead people to believe that the eating of animals sacrificed to idols was lawful and fornication was not a sin which I also hate the perversions of the Greek of Antioch. Revelations chapter 2 vs 7. He who has an ear, let him listen to what the soul, says to the congregations. He who overcomes, I will give him the right to eat of the tree of life which is in the middle of the paradise of the Creator, Yahweh of the Elohim. The hose warns us of the blasphemy which the community of Satan will perform, saying they are the tribe of Judah but are not. The message to Smyrna. Revelations chapter 2 vs 8. And you John, son of Zebedee and Salome, write to the Anunnaki Elohim. Malachi Zodok of the congregation of Smyrna, the city that is symbolic of Christianity, the self-appointed Apostle Paul's. False doctrine and call the people of Smyrna that was protected by Cybele called Ishtar, daughter of Ningal and Nana. To the Sumerians, to the true way of life. Surely this what he the Messiah Jesus who is the first and the last, whom was dead and returned to life as the first reborn of the dead, not as some vision floating down from heaven on a cloud as the Christians claim. Not out of the sky with horses and chariots and with a philharmonic orchestra playing in the background, not out of Jerusalem as the so-called belief, not from heaven placing his two palms upon the wings of angels and descending in. The white minaret to the east of Damascus as some Sunni and Ahmadiyya sects of Muslim believe. If they say that the Messiah Jesus is in a secret chamber, or that he is a prophet here on earth, or that he will rise up out of the desert in the east. Don't believe them. The first return of the real Messiah Jesus will be as a light into the body of the people who are his true followers. Those that live and follow all the laws that Jesus followed, they will be anointed with spirit of the Messiah Jesus. Then after those faithful followers are gathered as a body, 144,000, he will return. Revelations chapter 2 vs 9. Surely, I know about your tribulation and your poverty, always begging for money. Nevertheless you are rich in blessings and resources, bestowed on Africans in the land in which they originally dwelled such as Africa, and there is great blasphemy in calling the Most High a human being. Giving him the name, God which is a word composed from the three Hebrew words that are human attributes G Gumar meaning, wisdom. O Oz meaning, strength. D Dabar meaning, beauty. 
The Greeks attributed these titles to the 24 scientists whom they call gods. In the Greek language, god literally means worshipped. Revelations chapter 2 vs 10. Don't fear anything of the suffering that will happen to you. So this is he, Satan, the so-called leaders of Yebusi of Mashiach's time who is intending to cast some of you into prison so that he may test you and you will have hard times and distress for 10 days. So be faithful until death and I will give you the crown of life. Revelations chapter 2 vs 1 1. He that has an ear let him listen to what the soul, Malik says to the congregations. He who overcomes the second death, will not hurt him. Revelations chapter 2 vs 1 2. And John, son of Zebedee and Salome, write to the Anunnaki. Elohim of the congregation of Pergamos which represents mythology, paganism, and idol worship. This is what says he, Malachi Zodok, who has the sharp sword with two edges, symbolizing the knowledge of Arabic and English. Being able to cut up lies by deciphering the scriptures so that he will be able to explain them to the uneducated people. This knowledge is necessary in order for him to be able to break down and destroy the false doctrines of the various schisms and sects, false messiahs and prophets that will try to lead innocent people astray. This is the same sword that the Messiah Jesus will use to take the heads of the many antichrists. Revelations chapter 2 vs 13. Surely I know about where you dwell, and it is where the seat of Satan is, and you held onto my name, Yahweh of the Elohim, and did not deny my faith, even in the days in which Antipas a devout follower of the Mashiach was my faithful martyr, who was killed while with you all at the place where he Satan stays. Revelations chapter 2 vs 1 4. However, I have a matter against you regarding what is happening in Judea. There are some among the people there who are holding on to the teachings of Balaam, son of Beor, an Aramean soothsayer. Balaam taught Balak, son of Zippor, ruler of the Moabites, how to entice the real children of Israel to stumble and fall away. These are not the fake Jews of today who call themselves Israel, but those who eventually ate things sacrificed to idols and committed acts of immorality. The children of Israel stopped living under laws and became sinners or reformed Jews following the teachings of the Pharisees, the Talmud which is the so-called Bible of Judaism. Revelations chapter 2 vs 15. So you have also held with you living in Judea. Christians, Romans, Catholics, Greek Catholics, and Christian monks. All of these false religions are offshoots of Islam. That was started by men who wanted to deviate from the path of Yahweh and do their own thing. The teachings of the Nicolaitanes the followers of Nicholas, and convert of Christianity in Syria, Antioch, which do things that I hate. 